All right, you're about to record some video content, probably using Riverside to make sure you get the highest quality video and audio with all your remote guests. Well, here's a few tips to getting your computer in the best place so you can record, limit that lag or any stutters due to processing power or storage, and make sure you have the best recording possible. Number one, if you have it available, connect an ethernet cable directly to your computer. Ethernet is gonna offer a more consistent and stable connection, especially if you're in an office or a co-working space where there's lots of devices connecting to the same access points. Try to use ethernet whenever possible. It provides faster speeds and a more consistent connection. But if you are recording with Riverside and you run into some of those stutters in the conversation, we actually have something called low data mode. Enabling low data mode will either shut off the video or lower the quality for all of the guests in the recording, but your video and audio are still being recorded in high quality locally to each device, and those files will be uploaded however long it takes on the different bandwidth speeds that your guests are on, and you'll have access to those video and audio files later. So try to connect to Ethernet, but if you don't have that, use low data mode when you record with Riverside. Number two, if you're recording from a laptop, make sure you plug it into power. You don't have to worry about the battery running down, and the battery will run down faster when you're recording than when you're just doing normal administrative tasks. So you don't have to worry about your battery getting low and finding the charger in the middle of a recording, but many laptops will actually give you more CPU and GPU power when you plug it into the electrical outlet. So if you're recording from a laptop, find a wall outlet you can use, plug it into power, and keep it plugged in for the entire recording. Number three, and this one's really important, be sure to quit any cloud syncing apps completely. This means Dropbox, Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, any of those kinds of services that are constantly syncing files and folders on your computer, you need to make sure those are totally quit because they are usually processor intensive and they could start using a lot of bandwidth all of a sudden. Closing the window to these applications is often not enough. If you're on a Mac, make sure to click it in the menu bar and actually choose quit. This way you can be sure it's completely closed. And if you're on a Windows PC, you might need to go into the task manager and make sure it's not running in the background. If one of those cloud syncing apps starts syncing large files in the middle of a recording, it's not gonna go well. So make sure those are totally quit. Number four, try to be aware of the computer hardware you're using. Are you using a base level computer with minimal RAM and a not very fast processor? Then you might need to close more applications than you would normally. So be mindful of your hardware. If you have eight gigabytes of RAM or less, and your processor is maybe an Intel i5 or older, then you definitely wanna make sure to quit as much as possible and only be running Riverside in your web browser. Next, even if you have a powerful computer, it's best to close those apps that are really processor intensive. That's like Adobe Premiere, Final Cut, maybe it's Adobe Audition or Logic Pro 10. You definitely wanna close any of those video and audio applications, maybe even the Adobe Creative Cloud. Quit that entirely just to make sure there's no application that's gonna be trying to render or run processes in the background while you record. And finally, before you record, try to mute all your devices or put them in do not disturb mode as much as possible. You also wanna prevent any calls coming through your computer, maybe a FaceTime call or another video conferencing call. So put everything on do not disturb, mute your devices, turn the volume down on anything you can to make sure you're not interrupted and you get the best quality recording. And again, for the highest quality video and audio recording, you should use Riverside to record all of your remote content and even your in-person content. If you'd like to learn more about using Riverside for webinars, for talking head content, or even full interviews in person and remote, subscribe to the channel. We have lots of content on that and even how to build a video podcast setup, how to light your videos, and a ton more. We'll put one of those videos down here. You can check that out or the links in the description so you can learn even more. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.